Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. I paused it, but yes, we are on the air. We are unpaused. <laughs> we got new intro music. <laughs> Yo, you know how to be like, are we on the air? I've been doing it all day. Are we on the air? <laughs> You ready to record? <laughs> Ciao. Mm-mm. So welcome back, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gays, the straights, and everybody in between. Mm, no, I'm only saying hello to those in the alphabet community. For the the in betweens and the gays, not the straights. <laughs> no, they okay. They get high every day. No, it's okay. Oh, you're right. No. True. I'm so posh. I look my wild. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, do you have a good girl of the week? No? Okay, cool. Um, I have one, but I was just asking, a just good in case. Gal of the week? Mm-hmm. Star. Like a new one? Because all my, my gal them that I said, they're good, you know. They always good. <laughs> That's why I make sure. They always good, but... No, no I don't really. I don't. I don't. I'll look up one for next time. But you go ahead. Okay. If you have one, they got up on. So, all right. So, I probably talked about her before on the show. <laughs> um, Kissy Face. Oh, um, hey girl. Yeah, yeah. Jamaican Bay, as she refers to herself. <laughs> um, I'm giving her a good gal of the week for a number of reasons. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar, y'all should go check out her YouTube channel. It's Kissy Face. It's K I S S. Y F V C E. Um, the A is replaced with the letter V. So yeah, there's that. Um, she is Jamaican. And she's That's amazing. Right. <laughs> um, whether she's a oh, member what? of the alphabet community or not is right. um <laughs> full in a business to find out. But Uh-oh. she's not shy about anything that she does as far as her life or whatever so you can check her out on instagram twitter youtube everything is kissy face um i think kissy face 954 um i'll make sure and put it in the bio just to make sure y'all know exactly like what where to find her but um her youtube channel has actually um been one of my favorites i'm not really a youtube watching ass nigga like i really don't like be watching youtube videos and stuff but her videos are like to the point and she's giving you some good details like sex tips relationship tips everyday life tips pretty girl tips feminine tips all the shit the ugly girl tips what's going on here um what's going on i don't know i (laughs) I haven't seen anything um regarding i'm wondering about the not so pretties like I mean, there might be tips for them to get pretty, but I don't know. I'm, there you listen, go. Okay. Listen. Hopefully and such. But, you know, um, she's giving tips on how to <laughs> properly do fellatio. <laughs> so if y'all need uh, tips on how to suck the strap or whatever the hell y'all got going on, you know, there's that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, just all around good gal because, like. Your throat need to come ready made, honey. You ain't got time mm-mm. <laughs> Something. Listen, babe, I'm on YouTube watching how to suck it, okay? No, Whoa. Like, listen, just need you a little throat needs a little to be ready what? made. <laughs> yeah, so um like I said, she is Jamaican. Um and she just can't forget awesome. that part. Can't forget that part. Can't forget Can't that minor not, detail. Not forget that she is a born Jamaican. A Jamaican, Jamaican as hell. Like she is Jamaican. You doing shady? You said born. You doing shady? Okay. Was that shady? All, Were you shady? 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 You just shady. No. Was that shady? <laughs> first of all? It was not. But hit dogs go always first. Follow. James, like, first James be like, what? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? I don't even consider you a first gen Jamaican because your ass got shipped back. I <laughs> so. so appreciate that. Because <laughs> like, niggas was like, um, this is convenient. Niggas like, ding. <laughs> yeah, legit. But um, but yeah, so shout out to Kissy Face. Um, good gal of the week. Go check out her YouTube. Um, she also sells sex toys. Ah. She sells sex toys. Um, everything is on Kissy Face. All Wherever kinds you go find or just her. Certain ones. All of them. 
all of them. She got yeah, all, all, the, all the things on the website. She be having mm-hmm. promos and shit. Like, yeah. Okay. So she out here, you know, sex toys for the girls and the okay. girls and the everybody's Listen, in between. Big up the sexually liberated women, I guess. You mm-hmm. know? Up if y'all need some, some cuffs or bed restraints or whatever, you know, you can go cuffs. find them over there. Yeah. Look like a furry handcuff them with Not a little. The furry one, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. She wait. Does she have? Queer. Queer. The, listen, I'm. I'm. Still, I want. I need that. It's the. It kind of like the bar, and it. Like, oh, the spreader. I think she yes, does. Spreader. If you let will. me yes. see. Let yeah, me go fast. I want that them day. Let me go look on the on the website yes. and see. Spreader is problematic yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah get you, get you, okay you, mm-hmm. <laughs> yep wow oh and she also has merch i can't forget the merch um Pause. why you said it like that you have you have a spreader huh no friend what the hell no i don't are you no, gonna I pinch don't. me and tell me Listen. no i would have told you if i I'm like, you have a spreader? No, no, no. If I if I had a spreader, I would have told you. I oh, don't okay. have one. Okay. Yeah. But I would definitely add that to the arsenal. Yeah, that's have, spreader. spreader. That's, yeah. I still have hmm. a swing to try out. Doodoops. Oh, didn't I try it out yet? No. Listen, I don't know what it... Man, we might wait to go at somebody's hotel, yeah? Because... Oh, yeah. I'd rather not pop down for me, do <laughs> Get a little manish. <laughs> to pop my own damn door. Well, I think the weight limit on it is like three or four hundred pounds or some shit like that. But okay. Okay. the person standing, their weight isn't applied to it because you're standing. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. But you know, mm-hmm. just in case, mm-hmm. don't come knocking at my door. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> silly. <laughs> so yeah, um, shout out Kissy Face, good gal. Um. <sighs> and let's swing into this week's list of things. The category <laughs> is what the fuck? Ignorance. <laughs> um, yes. Listen, I know it's Pride Month and everything, but I think people taking it a little far. It taking is taking it a little far. In regards to what? Well, I keep up. Um the drag queen on... thing. The drag queen thing is is I don't like what's going on in Texas. With them trying to ban drag shows if kids are around and all that. Like, okay, so are the drag shows like not already like planned? Is this like a random impromptu drag show or like why I would guess there be any one of them? I guess whenever you're trying to have like kids around in general, it is not for it. Like the other day, I was telling you on Twitter, I saw that these kids were at a party and they playing musical chairs and everything like that. And it wasn't until someone pointed it out. I noticed that there was a sign on the wall and it says, it's not going to lick itself. Mm -hmm. So me, I was like, Oh, wait a minute. That's a little (laughs) risque. Yeah. For these kids to be around. Then I realized it's a place where you can get ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we know people are already going to say stuff because they're already drag, whatever they want to call it. They want to put them, you know, excuse me, you know, the he, she's and all that stuff. You know how mm-hmm. they um, classify like either drag or trans people. And it has been a big stink all over the Internet. So everybody talking about drags this, drags that. Texas decided they want to go ahead and ban it. I mean, like, I don't feel like you should be banning shit. If I feel like bringing my children and I feel like it's OK for me and my children, I'm going to bring my kids to a drag show. Like, yeah, I don't see the problem personally, but I also don't live in Texas. I'm- I'm trying to understand what the issue is for the drag show because... Oh, remember I said I had to ask you a question? Mm-hmm. All right, based on a tweet that I saw. Someone said, I would rather leave my child around a drag queen than a pastor or a politician. Uh-huh. What you feel? Yes. Okay. Because the drag queen, I'm not looking for the pitney. Mm-hmm. Like, if anything, they're protecting the kids. Yeah, they Because I have, they really don't I have seen... They really don't play that. Exactly. I have seen children in the presence of drag queens on many occasions. Like, they on South Beach, um, many a different places. This like is what they I'm do saying. Not... I have, like, my nephews. I have, like, nephews that have exactly. been to the little drag brunch. Numerous, yes. To me, I see it as they kind of teach kids that they can be themselves and be confident in who they are. I don't see And also, issue. my thing with it is it's 
entertainment. What are they doing? Lip syncing and dancing. Dramatics and all types of foolishness. Drag is like that kind of stuff. They love that. They are lip syncing and dancing in exactly. elaborate Throwing makeup. Throwing glitter. Child, for Christ's sake. Like, as long as you ain't being, you know, risky. Because I know some of the play, you can go a little drag show. They could be a little. Yeah. But, but when like, they're around like, kids, they really be trying to so, keep it cute. Those be like the late night drag shows after hours shit. Exactly. It's that, those aren't the daytime brunch when your children should be awake and watching type of drag shows. There are different time and different place for different settings where the drag shows can get a little ooh la la versus I just like. I don't understand. Like you see the kids and, and what kills me is like you see these children, they're eating, they're having fun, they're smiling, they're giddy, they playing musical chairs. They're not even paying and they, attention. Yeah, decided to focus on the sign in the back without even knowing the context of the sign in the first place. And trying mm. to get this poor place canceled. Getting these people in trouble. And then you got all these ignorant fucks. I said it. Just all over social media talking shit. Me personally, I don't want to leave my children around nobody. Okay? Period. But if I had to, it would be a drag queen before. It would damn sure not no pastor. Mm-mm. No, sir. And not no politician. Because what? But. <laughs> yeah, I, that's. I don't know. Like, y'all couldn't just give give people Pride Month. Just June. Like, just a little bit of June. It just started to, like. It's only the eighth, and they on the shits. Just yeah, like that's... when I saw, what did I see the other day? Um, Magic, right? Was telling, what's his what name? EJ, EJ, his happy son? birthday, right? Happy birthday, oh, happy mm-hmm. birthday to my son. Da 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 da. And there's a picture of them, and it was going around. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the ignorance, yo, that's under these pictures, like people. And I'm just like, why? Because EJ's gay? Y- yo, everybody just like your son. That's not a woman and all the jokes about, oh, I thought oh that my was a gosh. woman did. And about his, and about him have you know, how the HIV and about, like, it's just, I'm just like, y'all don't even know how nothing work. Y'all don't know shit and y'all talking all the shit. Just Listen. Like, what's his name, too? Said he's hmm. scared, like, of, what's his name? What's his name that played basketball? Dwayne? Dwayne Wade? Right. He said oh, he was for Zara- how afraid he is. For his child, like when she leaves the house, I was like probably even more because I know you're already scared right now. Everybody's scared mm-hmm. right now, no matter what your kids letting them out your sight. Mm-hmm. Add the whole trans, trans thing or whatever mm-hmm. process she might be going through in there. It's just like a whole. Like, I ain't letting my child out the house. Like, <laughs> listen, I hate when like she posts pictures or they post pictures of her and she is serving okay mm-hmm. little mama be out here with the looks like does, I th- does she model i don't know but she be giving looks and i'd be like yes with the beautiful black skin come through right mm-hmm. and they be in the comments talking about this child bruh it's disgusting like it's disgusting it's a full-grown adult that done slapped your mama like why it's are you talking this- about this child like this it's this disgusting son. like the, the homophobia I'm just like, wow i'm like wow imagine you don't even know who your daddy is okay uh, your mama don't even love your black ass but here you go talking about other people that are being <laughs> loved out loud listen my thing i just be like dog the homophobia and transphobia like all that shit just be running rampant and people don't think before they talk and it's like you don't know who you're offending. That's it. And like, I talk about this all the time because I'm like, people will sit here and be like, oh, I don't know nobody. That's da 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 But, and that's the reason why you don't Everybody know does. because somebody that you know is gay as fuck, queer as fuck, fuck. something as fuck. And you sitting there talking all this shit, blah, blah, blah. You are not a safe space for them. So they're not going to nope. come to you and be like, oh, I need to tell you or, hey, my lifestyle consists of X, Y, Z, because they see how you talk about people that you don't know. So your, your tune is just going to change for them just so like, uh, well, see, but I'm talking about like, on like a different I've thing. Been I've been yeah. there where I've had to change the tune for people. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, that's fine. Allow me to be the introduction yeah. onto why you should treat people fairly. That's fine. Because a lot of people <laughs> be like, Oh my gosh! But you're different. You, but I love Mm -hmm. you, man. And da da da. da. Yes, I'm this little exception shit. Okay, yeah, but don't just accept me because if you try to accept me and they try to downplay other people, yeah, you don't have to worry about accepting me because I'm not here for none of that. Yeah, that's a whole dub. (laughs) That's a whole dub. I'm not here for that. Like the people that accept lesbians and try to be like, oh, oh, I ain't with that gay shit. No, I ain't with that gay shit. Well, you ain't with my shit. That's what I know at all. You're not with my shit because I'm with all that gay shit. Exactly. I saw um, a post earlier today. What was it? Let me see if I could find it real quick. That was like, um, I think I posted it on my story that was saying, um, you know, the age old question, can something between two members of the opposite sex be considered gay or something like that? 
And <laughs> so like a man and a woman and a and a girl like uh, tagging her man type shit. But that's probably what it's How gearing can it towards. Be gay? How can it be? Listen, the other day I had to block somebody. Listen, I be blocking what? niggas left and like right. And go. Listen, I be blocking niggas left and right off the strength of you sound homophobic and stupid. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Because me I alone. ask you. Listen, I asked this man a general question. I said, how do you feel about um, anal stimulation? Something like that, I said. And he, like, went off on a tangent. Like, went off on a tangent. Um, he, apparently, he's okay with stimulation, but he's not okay with penetration. Nigga, I didn't ask you nothing about no penetration. Why are you thinking about dicking your ass? Like, why, how did we get here? <laughs> how did we get here? Dicking the booty ass, nigga? I said... <laughs> I said stimulation. You talking about getting pegged or poked or whatever the fuck. Because I wasn't know, even thinking about that. Their minds just go to wild places. First and then guys, anyway, anything it seems like well, guys, anything you mentioned close to Bati, around the Bati, <laughs> period. And then the thing that tripped me out was like they kept going on the subject. And I was just like, bro, do you did something happen? Do we need to have a conversation? Like what honestly? What's going on? And like it went crazy. Okay, where is it? Let me try and find where the conversation was because that shit. I hate it. So then he's like, "Oh, people have a problem with admitting they have homoerotic. They like a homoerotic stuff." And I'm like, you- "So basically, you should only be having vaginal sex then, because if you get your dick sucked, that's gay. Because that's something gay men do." Exactly. Oh, that's not the same thing. Da 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 da. It never is. It never is the same thing. Never. Exactly. And I'm just like. You sitting there trying to talk about some, how are you trying to speak for a heterosexual man when I'm one? I'm like, bro, I'm Congrats, speaking from a standpoint you got it. of... You could pick that struggle all you like. Exactly. Like, okay, <laughs> so you like ain't no stimulation, but not penetration. And you but draw the you, line... But you, he do ain't no, right? He has, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what we saying? And I said that too. And I was like, so you'll have anal sex? And he was like, oh, um... No, actually, he's not fond oh. of it, but he has done it. Said oh, some dumb shit oh. like, oh, he um, he doesn't participate in all that extra stuff because that's for people who don't know how to have good sex or some dumb shit like that. Like, you're you're doing all that extra stuff to find pleasure because you're not finding pleasure. No, baby. Wow, catch no. disease. He sounds tired as hell. Look. <laughs> like, do you know what, like, like the wow, human he's body. A of, he's a lot of fun in the sheets, isn't he? Okay. Listen, like you just want to eat pussy and put your penis in there? Like that's Barely, it? Probably, he probably that's it? go to sleep. Two seconds. Two seconds. That, that's it? Probably a jackrabbit and go. Nobody got time. <laughs> like that shit blows me. And I'm just like. Everything gay. Everything. Why are you for? My thing is if you were a woman, right? You is with a woman who have breasts, who have hips, who got ass, who got this, who that, has a and vagina. That. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> has the glorious flower, and you're trying to tell me that while you with this woman, you thinking about Bati? <laughs> <laughs> Not even just Bati. I think about next man. Like, like sir, you missed the mark. I think if you, if your homeboys are gonna think you're gay, exactly. Like I'm worried about what I'm doing with my woman to think if like my homeboys want to think I'm gay. That's already Listen. gay enough. I just need you to know. If you were about what the next man, I would think both you like just ugh, you don't you would rather not please your woman than appear gay like yeah, you want that gay shit, bro. I don't do that shit. Mm. Yeah, I can't, I can't, like I can't wrap my mind around it to even begin understanding it. So it's just like I didn't think we would still be here at like in yeah, <laughs> Miggle at twenty twenty two, Miggle. It is June. We are halfway I through really, this bit, basically. Just, I just, just about. I understand how people could really try to not understand. Like you're a man, you with a woman. Anything that y'all do, bro. Even if she decides she want to throw on a strap on your ass, and you just like, hey, babe, go for it one night. Listen, but a fun I, time. Y'all are straight. Hello, dead <laughs> ass. This man. I was like, you realize that homosexuality means that you are attracted to the same sex, right? Like the same right. sex is arousing you. The same sex is making you tingle in the balls or wherever the fuck you feel pleasure at, right? Like you realize that is about attraction, sexual right. desire. Are you sexually desiring a man? No. I think they also believe that once you touch their booty, it's like you activate the gay. <laughs> it's like a gay button there on a the booty hole. Back. And if you touch it. Listen, like, yeah, hey, that's why we're here and we're queer. Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> same thing. Because they scared to touch it because they want to activate the gay. It's the same thing. <laughs> they just, first of all, I don't, you can't even trust men to begin with because they don't wipe their own ass, much that's less. That's nasty. So it's just like, am I really taking what you're saying? 
Yeah. No. They don't wash their ass. They don't wash their dicks. They don't wash their hands. Like, I. Okay, please. Mm. Mm -mm. Lord God. Ew. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Uh. Be like, hey, tap that and then be like, hey, we're here and we're queer. Okay. Child. <laughs> like now we're here and we're queer. No sense. Like mm-mm, get out of here. I can't. But um <laughs> let the gays live, man. Keep people out your shit. Seriously. Like, you just do what you gotta do with your woman. It don't even matter. Yeah. But also on the subject of shit that's weird to me, like mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't know if you saw I posted something the other day on the Pointless Talks um Instagram story. Um I don't remember the exact context of it because I my memory sucks. No, I don't smoke weed. Leave me alone. My shit just sucks. Um, somebody made a comment about like straight girls oh boy. wanting to date lesbians or some shit. And they said something to the point of like, um, keep that like infected vagina, some dumb shit like that over there. I'm sorry, come again? Whoa. Yeah, it was oh, I wish I still had the damn it's in my archive somewhere. I should have pulled it up before I, what you call it, but I didn't think about it. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, mm. the ignorance surrounding like the vagina is so baffling to me from like everybody, like people who have vaginas, people who don't have vaginas. The fact that people really don't know how the vagina works that is just like, crazy to me because you can get a vaginal infection from literally anything Mm -hmm. literally you can change your fucking diet and get a vaginal infection your Mm -hmm. ph balance goes off you can be drinking not enough water you can be fucking start eating red meat or whatever the hell it is and bloops pum pum start the foolishness (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Why you so, so, <laughs> because like people talk about some oh, if you're messing with men, then da-da. you can. I I know lesbians who you can be a lesbian. Get so, um, all and that types of to you. Yes, like UTIs, freaking definitely possible. BV, all of that because mm-hmm. simple things like going to pee after you come. Like, you will be out here running to the bathroom because you got a UTI because you forgot to pee because it was so great and you went to sleep. Simple shit like that. And y'all want to sit here and shame people about stuff like that. And that shit bothers me because I'm like, people who don't know better end up in fucked up situations because they're embarrassed because they're in a situation where the vagina feels uncomfortable or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to talk to nobody because, oh my God, they're going to say I did something dirty or I did something. And it's like... Well, then again, first of all, you're talking to the wrong damn people who don't understand shit. Yeah. That's number one. You're not even talking to the right crowd. Yeah. Honestly. But that shit just, that shit just blows me from the root all the way back. It's just like, why? (laughs) What? People just talk a lot of shit. Like, if y'all don't wash your hands properly, you got a little bit of dirt underneath your fingernail while you fingering somebody. Um, Vaginal infection. Wash your hands before you start doing that. Like, please. Even if you just finished eating some fried chicken and you decide you want to go, no, go wash your hands. Oh, whoa, that is. (laughs) Like, go on. People be like, I just licked off chicken grease and we're just going to go have sex now. You're talking about we just had chicken and now I'm just about (laughs) to throw my fingers down your drawers. That is disgusting. People be trying to be cute, like impromptu shit, I guess. Nothing know. cute about it. Like it's just impromptu. No, listen, listen, exactly. Listen, no, I, listen. Mm. The kids be out here trying to be spontaneous and shit. No sanitizer, oh. something. <laughs> no sanitizer. You gonna burn your coochie up, <laughs> girl? Listen, it's better than alcohol. It's better than chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> Red and sauce. Listen, y'all better walk around with some wipes or something. Like, no, yeah, like, yeah. That, like, listen, simple things, simple things. For those who don't know, simple things can throw off your you pH balance. Eating chicken, can like th- eating a whole meal deal and then go touch your woman coochie. That's just yeah. out of pocket. You need to wash your hands. Yes, please. And if they don't wash their hands, go tell them to wash their hands. Don't be afraid to tell somebody to you guys cleanse themselves. I think that just turn you off in a second. Yeah. Right? But like, hey, you don't want to go wash your hand? No? All right. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go because you ain't going to play with me, sister. Listen, because <laughs> no, no. Nobody now have time for them to something there. 
But okay. yes, be aware of what you're doing with who you're doing it and how you're doing it, and make sure so. Una, Speaking prop- of, be aware of what you're doing with. Oh who no! You doing what happened? With? Oh Jesus! Man, We're this already. You know where I'm going with it. Mm-mm. This young man, right? Mm-hmm. That lost his life, right? The little rapper guy. Trouble. When him trouble. Mm-hmm. Right. Ouch. Sidebar. I want you to know when I first heard about it. I don't know why I thought T.I. Because he had his one yeah, song with some trouble, trouble man. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, wait, what? And then I looked and I was like, oh, Jesus. I was like, who? Come and sit in with a while up. Because it was like Atlanta rapper trouble. I was like. Oh. No. But yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. This rapper. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. sure people have heard about it. But I don't know. I've never really even heard of him like that. So I- I'm just. I heard about him this weekend. I'm sorry. Like Atlanta got 511 rappers and I don't, I can't know any of them. I'm old. And they don't sound the same to me. So, um, yeah, he was killed. Mm -hmm. Was that like last week? Was it like, yeah, last week and a weekend Mm -hmm. at his, not his woman, really not his girlfriend. Nope. No. At a young lady's house, a young lady's house, apartment, Mm -hmm. apartment. And, um, her ex-boyfriend, it looks like, right it's been like Mm -hmm. like what was it like a week yeah yeah it looks like he came back to the house or the apartment the crib whatever Mm -hmm. and trouble was there he broke into the apartment don't forget that detail did he break in yeah it said he broke in broke in that's what it said you had other people trying to say other stuff Mm. but okay so he broke in that's right Mm -hmm. did he touch did he do something to her first did he like attack punched her? her in the nose apparently again Oh no, that was the, that was why they broke up. My bad. But That's it said that they were fighting. They broke up because see. he hit her. Yeah, right. And which is rightfully like so. Here's I don't know this. This was a very interesting case, if you ask me. But now they got the guy in custody and all that. Now they got now. Yeah, he turned himself in. The other guy is done. Okay, and then Mama just out here in the world. Look, y'all need to be careful. Mm-hmm. At first, when I read it, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, this sounds very set up ish to me. Mm-hmm. But that was at first because it happens a lot. You have a lot of these women, they do these things, they have these guys over their crib, and then somebody coming to rob them or whatever. So mm-hmm. you really got to think about it sometimes. But y'all really got to be careful because the thing is, he have a whole woman in him. Mm-hmm. This is my thing. Why you, you see, you see how life go? If your ass was home, where you were supposed, you supposed to, be. to be. Because my thing is, I think he was, they were asleep. So yeah. that means you was well comfortable Comfort at this woman's house. Bad. And this it's weird because she had only broken up with this guy for like a week. Mm-hmm. Eh. Listen, I can't See. judge nobody. It, it, listen, you do what you got to do and switch how you like and move your chest pieces around as you like. But let's have some sense, okay, about what we're doing as well. You mm-hmm. know this person punched you in your face. You know this guy is not well. You guys lived here. You guys were here together for years. Mm-hmm. This is his home base. I believe his name is uh, his name is on a lease that they was trying to say. Right? Oh, but they said that she was breaking up with him because he was broke or he was not uh-huh. financially stable. Yeah, he was not contributing to the bills, etc. All right, and All then that. him liquor in our face. All that you know, mm-hmm. you're not with somebody, right? Why would you have somebody else there? Everybody. Because it's my house. I pay the bills in this motherfucker. And ain't nobody finna tell me who I can and can't have in my house. His Period. name on the lease. Period, poo. His name on but the he lease. Don't pay, but he don't pay no bills over but here. his name is on the lease. <laughs> After a week? You crazy. You gotta, listen, this is how I, you know some of his stuff was still in that bitch. You know exactly. it. Exactly. Because you ain't seen him since he punched you in the nose. This is what I'm saying. And then you just have... The, to have another it's just too much it's not it wasn't supposed to happen i believe these niggas really need to check themselves people need to check themselves in general stop kill up yourself over people like please like walk away from niggas if they don't want you walk away there's no need for you to go to jail for some pum pum like dick pum pum y'all going to jail for these things i hear really carrying pussy feelings and like, you won't go to you- jail and get the opposite what the hell is going on like let's think about it for a second it doesn't make any sense yeah that story is wild to me because like you said me personally, yes, the relationship is definitely a dub. You put your hands on me, it's it's a dub. Mm-hmm. Now, me having somebody new in the house a week after bitch, a week, and your stuff is still in the house. On top of that, you still possibly have access to the house, etc. Uh, I'm saying, That's like, if I'm you, saying. my thing is, if you feel comfortable enough to put your hands on me, I don't trust you 
to do anything sane. Because you must be out your cotton picking mind if you think it's okay to put your hands on me. Not the cotton picking one. Like you must. <laughs> Not the cotton picking one, girl. Like do you know where we? You at? got okay. me. All, oh shit, we are. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> like no, for real though, like. Domestic violence, like you feel comfortable enough to be putting your hands on people in broad daylight in a vehicle at that. Like they said, it was outside of the parking lot somewhere and he punched in her shit. Like, they, they said they'd be fighting like cats and dogs out in the that's street. That's what that's what made me think too. Like, is this the first time he hit you? Because you don't go from not hitting to hitting outside. Yeah, exactly. That's not how that goes. Exactly. So that's definitely not how that goes. There's definitely like escalation. Mm-hmm. Like little bumps, maybe up, a little, little push, bruise, a yeah. Little, a little pull every now and again, maybe a little mm-hmm. back and forth in the crib mm-hmm. to you getting punched in your face in broad daylight outside. Like, first of all, <laughs> listen, you punch me like I, my face, my face, my good, good face just outside. Listen, just like that, just in front of people. Whoa, make sure semi dead enough. Make My sure semi dead. You know, it's never, it's never okay, and it's never right. But you know how it is, like when you in the house and whatever. And you say mm-hmm. y'all getting to your little whatever. All right, it's still not cool. But to imagine yourself out in front of people, right? With your person, and your person still feel like it's okay for them to hit you in your face, punch you dead in your face, man to man thing. Not even woman to woman or man to man, man to woman thing in front of all these people outside. I, yeah, I don't nah. believe there's anything left for us to say at this point. And that's why I said that relationship done right. That's you're all. more than brave. You're more than brave. <laughs> Listen, I'm mad. You mad? Cause and now, and, and now look, he done. Yeah. Over yeah. what though? Like, bro, over what? Pum, pum. That he ain't never gonna get again. Like, listen. At the rate they going in Atlanta, ain't nobody gonna be left there. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I might actually Just, have windows after all this summer. We'll see. I feel like every week somebody will drop out. Let's see it. No, that's a fact. Like, every week we come on this podcast, somebody in the city is somebody like... Somebody died or somebody in jail. And it's or, not even like a natural cause. It's like niggas is dead by gunshots. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Niggas are dying the same way they like to play. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Or whatever other overdose or whatever the hell y'all doing out here like exactly exactly <sighs> like mama used to say if i saw you live i saw you were dead so yeah that's why you must be careful what you get into yeah that is that shit's scary this man go by the know in my mm-hmm. woman then it looked like him my next friend with one next girl again would come out talking about oh my god this and oh my god this is like oh you just have all the women oh, lined up like this so and i have no work thing. man have some class. Any man who listen to this, have some class, have some behavior. Not just because you a man. Oh, I'm a man. It, you don't have to act like you don't have no, no, no nothing, nothing about, about you. It's okay for a man to be selective. I'm sorry, but to me, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't go there with y'all. But to me, it would be attractive for a man to be selective if I liked them that way. Correct? Oh, you talking about a high value man? Let me stop. Yes, a man. Yeah, listen, man. Have, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not just about, about virtuous women. Yeah, man, have to have virtue too. Please mm-hmm. know something about yourself. Yes, you're a man. That don't mean you got to be out here acting like an animal and having yeah. sex with everything. Listen, it will lead you into destruction. You know how much people got their head just chopped off, got killed, got this, got kidnapped, this just over sex alone. Oh no, and not even like is your woman just. Yad. And stop exactly. linking up with just any and everybody. Please. Hold up. This is it. Stop going to people's house. Y'all better get back into these hotels and things that y'all like. Ooh. Whatever. Link up the links and stuff. <laughs> stop going to people's crib. You don't know them. It's crazy times. People are doing crazy things. Don't invite <laughs> people to your crib like that. If you really don't know them, don't do that. Because people have been setting people up. It is not okay. Like, listen, for safety purposes, cool. I get it. You, whatever. Sometimes you be caught up. You in the mood. Oh, we drank it. Hey, just come over. Let's, you know, we're going to do the. No. I feel attacked right now. <laughs> well, friend, I don't know what the hell to tell you. you better, I don't know what the nah. hell to tell you. So tell me how I had company, right? And the the, the people them phone start ring off to blood clot. Like, I'm going to say phone or ring. Their best friend panicked because they stopped texting them back. Mm-hmm. 
and call them mother, them brother, them sister, them next friend. I was like, yo. And at yep. the same time, though, at the same time, though, I was like, I love the fact that you have people in your life that care about you like this. Yeah. Because my niggas gonna be on the same shit. Like, first of all, you said you go into this person's house for X, Y, Z reason. You mm-hmm. still at this person's house after how much hours or whatever, how long. You not responding to my text messages all of a sudden? Listen, listen. I just like, casually happen to my little find my friends if I know you out hoeing. Mm. I was like, let's see. She ain't, she said she was gonna be here. This don't look. Let me zoom in. That don't really look like where she's supposed to be. I'd be like, in the middle up, of like, some woods. Doing? I'd be like, what you doing? Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Listen, between you, Wit, and Yuri, I, my, I know Yuri be on that ass. Dog, this nigga be texting me at the most random times about some. When are you going home? Yeah. Nigga, what? When are you going home? Because what you doing over here for some? <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> Poutine upon the rent. <laughs> like, listen, I, I mean, just be like, too long. <laughs> okay, yes, daddy. Listen, me get our text message one man and we say, good morning. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you find your bed tonight and not somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. I said, three of us, clear of us. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dream? Yeah. Is? I said, but Jesus, but tell us yeah. something got away. Check your behind. Go warm. Go warm. Go your car wood. <laughs> Lord God, but like your no, you make son come catch your Yeah, my thing is like people like there's a lot of people in this world that don't have people that care about them like that. Very For true. whatever the reason is, I'm sorry. I, you need better people in your life. Mm-hmm. I can understand that you've grown and you pay your bills and blah blah blah, whatever, yep. whatever. But at the end of the day, this is a sick fucking world we live in. Okay, Big, like heavy on the sick. Heavy. People get kidnapped and raped and murdered and they all types of everything. shit. Sex trafficked and whatever the hell else. That's for a big one. Less. That's a big one. For less. Y'all be on these dating sites and y'all just want to link up with every and anybody. Y'all ain't even been talking for two minutes. But you want to go link up with people. Like, what? Out here getting Tindler swindled and whatever the hell else that's going on. No. You like the black girl that met up with the white man and end up missing. She went on a date with the man and then next thing you know she gone. I'm like, which one was that? That's one. This is a while ago. This is not recent. This is a while ago. A couple this months ago. I think so. When I was in Connecticut, yeah, I'll, yeah, yo, I think so. Up my state. What the hell? Yeah, yeah and I, I'm I heard like, about it. a lot of people was talking about it at the time. Y'all like, just gotta be careful, and I know the day y'all be going thing, out with these friends, yeah, the and y'all be going hiking cool and everything. Like, if that's how you meet people, fine. There's like many, there's a lot of ways mm-hmm. to meet people, right? If that happens to be your thing, that's fine too. However, be friggin' safe, be cautious, be don't be in so this damn day trusting. and age, like don't be so damn trusting that part. Please. And in this day and age, the fact that catfish is still a thing, okay, catfish, y'all, on, catfish on like season a hundred. And Y'all still are wild. Out episode, don't make not a sense to me. Like, you have a how? dating profile. You better how figure out how to get a, a, a we video don't chat. Even get down like that. We don't play them type of games. There ain't no catfish around here because I am searching everything before Listen. we even link where. First of all, no, I need to know what's your name? Cool. The amount of conversations I'm okay. trying to have with you I before I like, link up. I'll be like twin A. Hey, okay, so it looks like I'm talking to this person. Go ahead and do a little research for me on a little backstory. Mm-hmm. This is their, their name right here. Go ahead. Do, do a little hey, research. Hey, remember when I went to North Carolina? I sent you. asked my location. You talking about something? I already looked it up. I know. I was like, yeah, yeah. I sure did. I was like, you over here by this little place? Okay, by the lake and side. shit? I, I was dying. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't play that. Especially you going out of state? That's a big no. Listen, I was especially cracking. if you're going and you like if you're not with like you know mm-hmm. another friend or something like that or some, uh, 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 uh. yeah that I shit. don't know protect your friends man I was cracking the fuck up I was like that's my nigga right there boy that's my play. <laughs> listen I'll be looking for a lake listen all I know she was by a lake <laughs> but yeah like. And I hate that we have to go through shit like, like I said it before. Like I be sending you people's license plate numbers if I have to go nowhere with somebody sure in their do. vehicle or not, sure like do. that. I'm sending a picture or the numbers or something because. And I'm who's playing? Senate come, send it. I'm telling you the make and model of this vehicle, the color. Like we <laughs> listen, send me every. What's their name? Their whole name? You know their mama name? You know their father name? And you know what? And you know I love so. to look up people chart. I can give you the birthday, the time of birth. <laughs> this city is what they I'm was saying. Born. Give me everything. Where they work at? What? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Like, okay. it's a really fucked up world that we live in. And I hate, like I said, I hate that we have to do shit like this. But at the end of the day, like, you never really know who you're talking to. Mm. Like, I advise, though, if you don't got no friends that check for you like that, for real, I advise you to get you some. Please. Because if the ones that you got, you calling people bestie and, boo, oh, this is my nigga, this my uh-uh-uh, and they not even checking to see if your ass is where you're supposed to be or if you okay, if you go out and they know you on a date or something like that, are you linking up with somebody and they don't check in on you, I'm going to need you to get some new friends, okay? Because for this kind of world yeah. we're living in, you're going to need a little, you're going to need your little tribe. Okay. Especially since, you know, it's summertime. Y'all want to do hot girl summer. That's what I'm saying. Shorts. Hot girl summer, you know. And I know y'all little coochies in heat. Mm-hmm. Okay. But try to cool your ass down. Okay. We outside or whatever the hell. Okay. And just share, share your location. If it's all that, just share your location with one friend or something like that. Somebody. Mm-hmm. Hell, I don't know. You don't even got to be a friend. Like if you're close to like your, your brother, your sister, your, yeah. your cousin, somebody. Don't matter. Whatever. And just share your damn location so people can know what the hell going on. Honestly, these days, it's, an, it's necessary. Mm-hmm. Even if it's one person, it's yep. necessary. It it can be legit the step between like life and death for you. Exactly. We watch way too many Criminal Minds and SVUs listen, and all of this listen, SPU, and they are all based on true stories. So, um, mm-hmm. listen, and they still making them. They're still dun, making them. Dun, 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 dun. They're not yep. done making episodes. And if it's that not is, them, you know, other you know, people. SVU is my shit, okay? <laughs> I love SVU. SVU is it. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, like I said, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Um, okay, Jerry? <laughs> stop it. So, <laughs> so you know, since I was traveling over the weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, Tell the people about your charades, girl. Go ahead. Is that raining? Red but yeah, fall, it sounds like it. Chicken, chicken batty 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 yes, sir. But um, hold on a second. Hold on. I want one. All right. Well, y'all, it look like pointless. Must have stepped there. So walk along. Mm-mm. It's sugar. So I just got up oh, and ran off. Up. My bad, wow. yo. I was bigging up the people and talking to them on the slide. Oh, sorry, Guan. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um next time y'all. <clears throat> Go ahead, friend. So, um it's raining? No, I think it was just my computer being loud. Oh, it was raining it. like hell last night though. <clears throat> last night Pisari and tear away. Mm. Anyways, so, you know, <laughs> we talked about this whole <laughs> can't stand this nigga. This whole <laughs> <laughs> woo woo eh. mm. the mask mandate being lifted right yeah. I yeah. maybe 20 people in the airport had on masks oh my gosh I've been hearing this I was like ew Ugh, I don't know I just girl people trying to get back to their regular lives me too I am with my mask on Exactly. But you know, it's such a humongous inconvenience for those. What are you going to do? Just wear your mask and move around. I just know I've had way less boogers since COVID started. Because <laughs> all that boogers. dust and yeah, dirt. Way less boogers. <laughs> because where booger come from? No. <laughs> dust and stuff, the hairs in your nose, like filter out, etc. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, I know. I feel you though. Listen, it's a mask world still. It, it, y'all do whatever the hell y'all want to do. It doesn't matter to me, but I will have my mask. Yeah, I was it's that simple. Like no, seeing no, 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 it firsthand, no. I was just like, "Whoa!" Like y'all for real, for real out yeah, here. Yeah, people, listen. All you gotta tell them is, "Hey, you don't really. It's not required anymore." And they're gonna take them joints off. Completely forget what the hell is still going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is how easy it is to just swindle people. Yeah, like they done with um waiting them. Ukraine, I heard nothing about Ukraine. Yeah, I'll uh, Ukraine them. COVID, that's why it's Pride Month now, so that's the distraction. Yeah, until uh, July come in. And then we're yeah. going to get past July 4th. Mm-hmm. And then well, no. whatever else. Remember Juneteenth, that's the distraction too. And then make a live June. And then, um, yeah, July 4th. Yeah, Juneteenth is cute and everything, else. I suppose. But, yeah. I never really um, celebrated it on <laughs> But yeah, so I just 
<sighs> just then, fuckery after fuckery after fuckery. I just I don't that part. I can't. Um something else that's been uh running rampant on the internet, everybody's input about Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan breaking up. Yeah. I just find it interesting how invested people are. Yep. Like, did they come and tell y'all why they broke up or what happened in their relationship or you what either of them contract wanted? contract is up, friend. Listen, they posted a video of Michael B. Jordan. They said that man looked hurt. Like, he was crying. I was like, okay, he yeah, probably the is. the one with him um, at the basketball game or something. At the basketball game? I yeah. ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> yeah, look like him. Did I go true it for true? Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. That man look hurt. Mm-hmm. Just but, a tad. Let's double back now. Kissy face. Mm-hmm. She has um a few posts regarding the talking face. She has a YouTube video about the talking stage in mm-hmm. relationships. When you meet people, talk to them. Yep. Get to know people. Facts. Ask questions. The things mm-hmm. that you desire should be put on the table. You should inquire about what they desire, whether it's long term or short term, mm-hmm. or is this just for fun? Is it just for sex? Is it just for dates? Is it just for pictures? Why are you entered? Like, what are you looking for out of this? Like, I'll be on these little dating apps. I'll be asking all the little honeys, like, hey, what do you expect to gain from the this? Little honey, the little you honeys. Shut you know? your ass up. <laughs> about the little honeys. You get on my nerves. <laughs> I be asking, like, what do you hope to gain from this from this app? Like, what do you want? You're just looking for friends. You're looking for somebody to communicate with on a regular. You're trying to find a brunch boo. Like, what's up? You know, a brunch. What do you call a brunch boo? Somebody, you somebody you got you brunch, got brunch I, I with. Yeah, you know, people be looking for brunch friends and things like that. Yeah. First of all. Brunch here is ridiculous. I have not been to anything other than rum punch brunch and middle of mega reach nobody else Sunday brunch because yeah, I mean these wait really, times it's hard to get into their brunches in Atlanta. Who is waiting two hours for food when I'm not, I could just cook it at home? Cook it at home, correct? No, but yeah. So you know, I be asking the ladies, you know, hey, what you want? The, what the, you the honeys? Yes, <laughs> the, the little honey. I be asking little honey. <laughs> You know, <laughs> where, oh, where you come here for? Like, you know, and I feel like if we do for a brunch, though, we are. If we, here yeah, and if it might be easy. Yes, it, it will be easier. It's about might be. It will be easier. But if let's say the idea is that he was in love and he wanted to get married and she was like, nah, I just want to play around. This was and fun while it lasted. I don't know. I wasn't there. Let's say that's that is what happened. That's what they're trying to say. Yeah. Obviously, that's because the conversation didn't happen, and people didn't state their true intentions or were willing to accept that what was like divulged was actually what it is. Because many a times you'll tell somebody, "Hey, I want X, Y, Z," and they'll be like, "Oh, this is gonna be amazing. You're gonna change your mind." Here's my thing, though. Is it even speaking as someone who is? I'm going to just call myself of the regular class, if you will. Mm-hmm. And not, you know, not yet in that, you know. Bracket. Mm-hmm. Tax bracket. Not yet. Soon come. And do they have those talks like that? Do they talk like normal people do? Because you know how well you'll be with someone. You'll be like, okay, I want this. I want that. I want this. These are my mm-hmm. goals. These are my aspirations. Da, 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 da. Do people who have millions of dollars, right? Do they really sit down and have the same conversations we do? And really I feel look like, that far, or is it really like, hey, time we having fun, let's do it. It doesn't even matter. We got the money, we can do whatever we want. Let's live, and if we break up, we break up. Because that's what I feel like a lot of their relationships are. I would hope so. It's like, but sex, if you travel the world, yeah. Money. But my thing is, if you know that you yourself are an emotional motherfucker and you're gonna catch some feelings, you should be real with yourself. Yes, the money and the trips and the fun and the sex and the clothes and everything is great. The jewelry, wonderful. But if you know that you're gonna catch feelings. You should probably stop and be like, whoa, whoa. And also, it's not like you just bloops, jump in a feeling, sir. These things progress. So over time, you realize that, yo, I'm starting to really fuck with you, like, on a real way. Like, what are we doing or whatever? All I'm going to say is future try to tell (laughs) y'all. Oh, no. No. Not future. Try to tell y'all about her. Listen, all they're trying to say, the contract is up. Mm Mm-mm. I don't know. It's giving. And it's weird because he just bought a crib, this big ass house. It's it's giving it's a little weird. I don't know. Hmm. He just bought this big ass beautiful house. Really? So it's a little funny. 
Yeah. But cleared, honey. either way, for the for the regular class folks who okay. ain't, you know, celebrities and whatnot, mm-hmm. please communicate with the people that you are entertaining. If you know, say you don't want to deal with no stress and no headache, listen, y'all ask me every which way. Oh, what are you looking for? Nothing that's gonna stress me out, boo boo. Nothing Period. that's gonna stress me out. I'm gonna want no kind of stress pickup. Mm-mm. Not interested. If you feel like say y'all go on call call me, before and every two a- minutes I know go, no we're not doing that we're not stressing Janae out at all absolutely mm-hmm. not so y'all need to have communication with people but, and understanding if you have conversation right mm-hmm. it's very often that people change and become different people in the midst of the relationship yes time. but you communicate as you grow as you change oh, no, as no, no, things no, happen definitely I agree with you I totally agree with you there. But you have a lot of people that have the initial conversation. And then from the initial conversation, it's there has been no conversation had after that. Mm-hmm. So when you still think you on this route, this person mm-hmm. is all the way over here. Um, wait a minute. Who can we talk about it? Because... You know what I'm so it's kind of like, wait, can we talk about this? Because how did you reach over here? And I'm trying to go this way. Listen, because the type of person I am, I am very like, oh, that's what you said it is. That's what it's going to be. And... And you know, and you know people be bullshitting too. Yeah, I'm with the exactly. Shit. No, I'm not exactly. <laughs> like, don't tell me now that you know you with the shits, and then However, the shits show up, However, and you back it up. Maybe he thought he was different. Maybe he thought everybody he thinks they're fucking it. different. Maybe he thought he could change her. You know, that's a lot of people. Y'all need to realize y'all can't change people. That's people it. will you change when they are the ready. The one. Yeah, he didn't do that, but he did it for me. <laughs> yeah, people job, will change. Okay, girl. No one. Okay. When they are ready to change. Nobody not, not going to change not before their time. You just had a longer time. It's just not your Exactly. Time like, <laughs> okay. yeah, that shit there. Listen, I'm going to say buns, Maddie. Child, I just want to know who Lori about to come out with next. For real, that's so funny. I think everybody's probably wondering who's next. Who's next? Going. She keep running through them like this. She going. She gonna end up in her lesbian era. She better chill out. Mm-mm. She gonna be with Young Ma. <laughs> Not Young Ma. <laughs> don't she like straight girls? Got a girlfriend now. Oh, like for real? Does for she real? Be booed up with all the time. I don't know. I when don't she be watching. Ain't, um, picking up when she ain't modeling for fashion over men. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Men don't know. I have no idea. Um, did you see that some people, like, on their Twitters, you could do thumbs up and thumbs down on their tweets? I think that might be part of that, like, super tweet shit. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Mm-hmm. So, I saw it the other day. How about I, I'm okay? How about I'm from old school Twitter where I could just like it or just keep it pushing? Mm-hmm. I can either love it. Or, you know, I don't have no thumbs up, thumbs nothing. No, not you. I think it's based on the people who have, like, I think they have the paid Twitter or some shit oh, like this, that. that little super Twitter shit? Yeah, or that super follow, whatever the fuck yeah, whatever the hell they be. I ain't super following nobody. I've never clicked the button. Why am I super following you? What is so super know. about you to make me follow you? <laughs> Trouble, oh, Yeah. <laughs> Please. And then, um, suppo- I don't know how real or true this is, because I've been seeing it lately, but I haven't seen any, like official sources but i message um coming out with unsend or yes, edit feature for text unsend and edit let's go for all my little errors they that? said they said all the alcoholics about to turn up i was like oh no yeah okay honey but guess listen. who is the screenshot go listen okay, okay. <laughs> gotta go quicker than that i already caught it now everybody yeah. gonna screenshot everything just in case mm-hmm. you try to flip the script I haven't sent a drunk text in a really long time, so I think I'm That's safe. That's going to change the game a little bit because usually, you know how it would be. Like when somebody, let's say somebody like cheating or doing something they ain't supposed to do on their phone. Usually when you go back and try to read a conversation, you you feel like piece of the conversation missing. Mm-hmm. It'd be like, hey, how are you? That's good. Good night. <laughs> they done deleted. Hey, what's good with that ass? When we link it uh-huh. up. So now the conversation is missing parts. And you're like, this don't make no damn sense. Mm-hmm. You went from saying hello to this. So you deleted the conversation? Yeah, that's why I don't read people's text do messages. No I was just like, let me just change this real quick. Mm-hmm. Hell is hot. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hell yes, is it is. Because that's... Mm. Be safe out there. Like I said, um, hot people summer. Want to be careful. Listen, people ain't going to have no masks. 
people gonna be wilding out. Y'all be safe. I'm tired of telling y'all to be safe, but be safe. Every week, be safe. My one, yeah, my one constant message is just be be safe, yo, at all times. You and your friends, be aware. If you got, if you know, if you could carry your things, carry your things. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, and just stay alert on shit, man. Yep. Don't let these niggas it. stress y'all out. Drink a little water. Drink a lot of water. It's and hot vibe. outside. Drink, drink enough, enough water. That's it. Yep. Um, you got that's anything up. else, or that's all you got? I'm that's cool. all I got I, I for think, now. I think I'm good. I think we touched on a little ignorance for now. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm supposed to be on um Annie Love hey. Wild It Out Wednesday. You gonna be on we her gotta, show? Yes. When? This month, sometime. Okay. <laughs> We're working out the dates for sure, for sure. Okay. Um, and we will let y'all know. All right. When Sound that like is. Sounds like a, like a collab going on. Yeah, a little, you know, LGBT queer thing on my bumper. Plus, let's do it. Yes, good old Caribbean well, content. Me and the people them tuned, okay? And definitely will. You need to come on the show, but your work schedule and the is distance and all of that dirty. fun stuff. I mean, unless you are able to tell me and I can do something with my work schedule, friend. Say less. Like if you can tell me ahead of time and I can maybe do like half a day or something. Say less. Yeah, we can definitely awesome. work something out. I will. Okay. You're going to have me out here in these streets. Mm-hmm. One time for the one time. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> Oh no! One time is too much. Mm-mm. Um, one time is too much, especially in these streets. No ma'am. Yeah, shit, wild. But yeah, so um, I will keep y'all posted. If for no, it wouldn't be next week. Probably the week after. But um, I will definitely post it on my Instagram and Twitter. So oh, keep an eye out. Ooh, ooh, come in. Come. I have a message. Um, for all of y'all, it's Pride Month, right? Which we've been saying. Mm-hmm. Anybody that identifies as anything <gasps> oh. other than, go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I um, just remembered something. Keep your head up and walk proudly. Be who you are. F these people. I know it's rough out here because there's people who hate you just for being who you are. But mm-hmm. hold your head up and just be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And just be safe as well because, you know, just because of who you are this month, a lot of people, it's a lot of extra heat on you. So, also that as well. And y'all going to these pride events and all stuff like that. Be cautious. Be aware. I know it's a good time and all of that. But just be, people are really evil right now. And you just never know when things is happening or where they're happening or how they feel in. So, be safe. Again. Yes. So, in that same stream, um, I don't know if you saw that the U.S. Suicide Prevention Hotline changed their number. Um, So, it's going... Well, actually, I shouldn't say they're changing. They're incorporating... An additional number so it's basically like 911 but for mental health it's a three digit number um it's much easier to um contact and remember so the mental health version of 911 is set to launch nationwide july 16th okay. um and what that is number it? is 988 988 Yes, 988 is the suicide prevention hotline number um starting july 16th now you would still be able to contact the suicide prevention hotline. Um, what is it? Eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. You should still be able to contact um, them through that number. But nine eight eight is um, also going to be in effect starting July sixteenth. So should have been seven six seven SOS. Listen, okay. <laughs> so for those of you, if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who might need it, yeah, please reach out. Days. Etc. Yes. Yeah, so that's um, it this month too, yo. Like sending love. Yeah. The current Try number. Somebody if you can. Exactly. The current number um is one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. It's always gonna remain available. Um, but even after nine eight eight is launched, it would still be in effect. Um. I don't even want to talk about this one after this because I just remember I had something else to talk about. Um, the Miss Global. Um, no, nope, save it. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so on that note. Uh, <laughs> I want you to save it because when is the competition itself? I don't know. Exactly. I want you to save it until we, we need to look and see when it actually 
Okay. I was trying to look into it and see like the other models' names and stuff, and it was just very horrible and hard to find information. I was just like, what? What are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um that's all we got. Yes, <laughs> Thank you for well. listening. Um, make sure you subscribe to us on all the social media platforms. We are everywhere that you can stream podcasts. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we are on Audible and Amazon Music now. That is the newest platform that we've been added to. We are still on Apple Music, Google Podcasts. <laughs> what the rest of them got? YouTube, uh, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Castbox, Deezer, Spotify, SoundCloud. The list goes on. So wherever you listen to podcasts, tune in. Whether if you have an Android or an Apple device, we are available at your fingertips. So make sure you subscribe, check us out, and just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Watching Kuya, listening watch to this it, episode. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Bye.